Today I'm in Zafaria because a new pack was just released. I didn't expect it to come out today, but I just saw it on the launcher and on the website. I was like, okay, let's check this out. It's a Zafaria themed pack called the Zafaria Safari Pack. I'm going to be calling it the Zafaria Horde Pack because that's basically what it is. On the website, they call it a Horde Pack, but in game, they call it a Safari Pack. Don't know what the difference is, but it does come with spell elements, so we'll see what kind of spells we get dropped from this. And it has three sets, three mounts, three pets, I think, too. So, three of everything in this pack. And it's Safari themed, it's kind of Lion King themed. So, I do want the mount, I think the mount looks nice. Uh, the pets, I don't know, we'll see about the pets. But, and the gear, I mean, from my first impression of the gear when I saw it on the website, it doesn't look the best, but we'll see. So here we go. This is the uh, the new pack. Just came out today. Zafari Horde Pack is what I'll be calling it. So let's see what we get. First pack in. Desert Table. Grizzly Boar. Okay, that's not a new pet. Uh, this is a new hat, though. We have the Death and Fire hat. That gives decent damage, I feel like, and high crit. I wonder how that stacks up to other pieces of gear. But gives two curse cards. So there's that. I don't have any gear to compare it to. If I get storm gear, I might be able to compare it to that on my storm. But I don't even have the, you know, I don't have the best storm gear yet. And uh, we actually got a wand first pack. This is kind of rare. I mean, wands for me, getting wands is, is difficult sometimes. So this is the balance and myth wand. Savannah spear and shield. Gives block and crit. And... You know, okay damage. I don't really know how, like, what the myth damage and the balance damage on wands usually is. So maybe that's pretty high. I don't know. But it has may cast spirit blast. So there is the wand, or one of them, from this. Okay. Not a bad first pack, I'm going to be honest. That was, that was not bad. Getting a wand for me is always a plus. Okay, we got a robe. We got Savannah Tribal Robe, which is 17 Universal Resist. And 176 block. I feel like that's that's pretty good for block. 1100 health. Like health is just getting really high up there on pieces of gear. And then two stun cards. Nothing else good from this pack. How does that stack up to uh, Spooky Carnival? Spooky Carnival is 21. Jade is 23. So it's not quite up there. But the block is way higher. So I don't know if I would trade resist for block. Block's usually not the best route to go for gear. Is that the same one? That's the exact same robe. Uh, oh, also we got Scorpion. We got Scorpion Spellaments. Hold on, did I get any other Spellaments that I missed? I don't think I did. Scorpion. I don't actually have Scorpion trained on this character. So it's not worth redeeming this because if I redeemed Tier 1, that means I learned the spell. And there's no reason for me to learn this, but I might as well just spend training points. But yeah, here's Scorpion. This is the first time I've seen the Scorpion tiers. So this one, you can get a accuracy debuff up to 20% or a damage debuff. That seems pretty good. That actually is crazy. Scorpion is really good now with these. Two pips to put a negative 20 on your opponent or a negative 15. In lower level PvP, the accuracy debuff could go a long way. Even the negative 15% could be good. So yeah, both these. I feel like this is actually really good um, upgrades for Scorpion. I kind of want that. Even though I don't have a balance. But yeah, so new balance uh, spellments going on with this pack. There's probably some other ones in there besides Scorpion. We'll see. So let's keep going. Nothing good from this pack. The other packs are pretty good. We got robes. We got wands already. Spellaments. Nothing great in this one. Let's see. Why am I getting the grizzly boar every time? Here is the bouncing myth. And it gives crit and damage on the boots. Alright. So I'll let people compare stats if you have a balancer myth. I don't. So <laughs> I'm not able to compare the high level stats. Also a jewel blossom. The Star Blossom. That's crazy. People people really want these 
kind of plants because they're they're pretty hard to get. You have to spin crowns. I know this is a pack and you're still spending crowns to get it, but it's still nice to get it from a pack like this because otherwise you have to get it from the other pack. And I think the other pack is more expensive than a normal pack. But yeah, Jewel Star Blossom, pretty good. So, haven't I've gotten the Grizzly Boar every time. There we go, finally. Even though it's seven day, at least we will be able to see what the new mounts look like. So here's the Warthog mount, or one of them. It probably comes in three different colors. And we'll check that out. So, new mount. They added in. They showed it off in the Scroll of Fortune, what it looks like. And you could get it, like a, I don't know what it was, like a one day or seven day from that. And some other stuff. I remember fishing in Zafaria. We always get these dropped. So, nothing new there for me. Grizzly Boar is in every pack. Oh, we actually got one of the pits. Feisty Lion Cubs. And we got Double Scorpion. Double Scorpion. Lion Cubs. I'm guessing Fire. Grizzly Boar in every pack. It's common. How many uh, Spellmans did I get? Does it tell me? I have six so far. And new pets. The new pets aren't hatched yet, but... We'll check them out once they do. Where are they? I got so many pets from this. I think it's this one. So four minutes. But yeah. So many pets. I actually hate the packs that drop so many pets like this. Because it gets annoying. We literally just got that. Oh, and Dark Sprite is the other spell man. There could be more than two. But there's at least Dark Sprite and a Scorpion in this pack. We just got that one, so we'll, we'll have two of them. <laughs> But the pet is just a rare drop. I wonder if they've always been rare or if they've been ultra rare. I don't know. Sometimes they change it up. But yeah, rare drop. Feisty Lion Cubs, even though there's two other ones that we could get. More Scorpion. Okay, more pets too. Look at all these pets that we're getting. All right, uh, can I get... What are we looking for? This is not good right here. Oh my gosh. Scorpion though. I'm getting Scorpion Spellmans dropped a lot. Jungle Warthog. One day, we'll take a look at that. Maybe once I hit Max Bag. Have we seen this one? No. This one is Storm only. 18% on the Universal Resist. 181 block. And, I mean, the only reason you would use this is for a Resist Robe, like a Jade Set. Because, I don't know, the the pierce isn't really anything. I guess it would be 6% pierce if you add it up. More scorpion. We're getting so many scorpion spellments. Again, it's just... I got... Wait, I got two wands. Zamunda Spear and Shield. Which is fire and death. Okay, so I just wanted to interject here because I'm editing the video. And I wanted to make sure I'm giving you guys all the most up-to-date information on all this and these wands that are dropped from this pack are the highest damage wands in the game currently this 26 percent damage fire wand is by far better than any of the other damage wands in the game i think the previous best was like 23 percent so this is better than that it might be a little bit less crit but still these wands are really good they're a good contender for the highest damage sets and it's the same for storm as well so these wands are really good and people are going to have to factor them into their sets to see how they can get the most damage and also have the highest crit possible. For me on my storm, it'd be trying to get to 100% critical. But maybe I'll use this wand and make a video of my set in the future. But just wanted to let you guys know that so you had all the information. These wands are really good for damage. And then... Wait, what? Oh, it's 7%. I was like, wait. Why is it 7% for storm? But it also gives the 17% on the universal. Okay, so we're up to 24%. Fire gets more damage, which has been happening all the time now on the new gear. But yeah, Storm is going to be 24% damage from these wands. Spectral Blast, Spectral Blast again. So there's all three wands. Pretty sure we got all those. Okay, that's another one of the pets. Maybe a balance pet. Fearless Lion Cubs, Dark Sprite, some Fish Fin, don't care about that. I've gotten so many. All these hatching over here are probably Myth Dactyls. 
and the boar. Two in a row. Okay, come on. Am I going to get the mountain this pack opening? Am I going to get one of these warthogs? It'd be cool. I feel like my luck right now is pretty good. I've been getting a lot of pets, a lot of spell elements, a lot of the gear. I may even have a full set of gear. Okay, nothing crazy except the Jewel Star Blossom is pretty good. Probably the only good thing from that pack. Grizzly Boar, of course. Nothing good. I think we spent like 6,000 crowns, maybe 7,000. We've already got all of these. Because I think it was at like 36,000 when we started. Come on, Pat. Give me something. That's not something. Yeah, we already sh showed that. Give me something good. Seven day. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we haven't gotten. Because I've actually been pretty lucky on getting all the other stuff that I want. We've gotten that one. More spellments, which we'll see after. How many we got of each. Have I gotten this one? I Yeah, I think we did. Like early on, we got this. That hat. Okay. Anything else? Anything else you want to give me, Pack? I'm going to go a little bit longer just to see. Just to see if it wants to, you know, give me some luck. Two grizzly boars. That's not lucky. The wands drop all the time, even though they're ultra rare. That's that's the worst. <laughs> that's the worst pack so far. Zafarian couch, and all reagents. One scarab. Okay. Stinkweed. I don't want that. We're at like ten thousand crowns in right now. Wow. We got it. I knew it. I had a. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie guys, I had a feeling that we were going to get a per mount. With the way my luck was going on this pack, I could just tell that we were gonna get lucky. So there we go, Desert Warthog Permanent. That's what I'm talking about. All right, see, I didn't even look at the mount yet. I didn't look at the seven day or the one day because I knew we were gonna get a permanent. Let's put on one of the sets. We've got the tribal set. Let's try to see if we have all the pieces of the tribal set. Okay, so here's the gear. It doesn't match. I think I'm missing a robe and maybe the boots that match like the red set, but this is what it looks like. I mean, it's not my favorite gear ever. It kind of just looks like gear that you would get as you quest through Zafaria. Maybe a little bit different. But yeah, that's what a full set would look like. Not gear that I would use, but here you go. The spear is something that we've seen in the game for a long time. And uh, what I'm actually excited for are the pets, though. And, of course, the mount. We'll get to it. But here are the new pets. So it's kind of like the, the duo pet that we've seen before. With the lion cubs. The male and female lion cub. They actually have pretty good animations. They look lively. So, yeah, there's the lion cubs. And there's actually some variations of these. I think I got one of the other ones. Let me see if I can find it. We did get the other color, or one of them. Yeah, these ones. There's also these ones with different eye colors and uh, fur colors. So that's what they look like. We saw the idol already. And uh, that guy's a goatee. The, uh, the male lion cub does have a goatee. So, yeah, they look pretty good. I like the animations on them. They look lively. And uh, they jump in unison. <laughs> so, that's the pets. We've also got the, the mount, of course. Desert Warthog Permanent. Of course, we're going to show this one off. Here we go. This is uh, one of the mounts. I don't know what colors change when you switch to the other ones, but... I mean, I don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind the blue. I got blue, and I wonder if it changes the color of the actual warthog. It doesn't jump very high. 
Yeah, this guy looks like he's straight out of Lion King, so. <laughs> it does fit the world. It does fit Zafaria for sure, this mount. And I kind of wish that this mount existed earlier um, when we were doing Zafaria walkthroughs, because I feel like this, this mount fits perfectly with the world. I wish we had it, but <laughs> we have it now, I, and I got a permanent for it. It crawls on my arm to go back in the box. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> so that's the uh, that's the idol. That's pretty good. That was a good idol. I heard like a squeaking sound. I was like, what the heck is that? It's that guy. Okay, that's one of the better idol animations that I've seen. That's really good. This mount's pretty good. I like it. This mount is definitely one of the better... Uh, things in this pack for sure so it's a good permanent epic mount from the pack and um i'm glad i got it i'm glad i got one of them oh yeah here's which one did i get this is the desert warthog does it look different i don't, I don't even know which one i got i think i got desert warthog perm did i jungle warthog looks like that compared to the uh not the the yak this <laughs> So yeah, a little bit of variation on the colors of like the rope and you know the the packs in the back. Jungle desert. Is there another one? Plains. The plains warthog. So yeah, not too much difference between those. We got the desert warthog is the one that I'm using. So I think we got mostly everything out of this pack. I only had to spend like ten thousand crowns, maybe a little bit more than ten thousand crowns to get. Almost everything in the pack. That is going to do it for this video. Should I show the underwater? Maybe we'll just do it quick. Hold on. We're not going to end the video just yet. Where is the sunken palace? People always ask me to show underwater. So we're going to do that. We're going to show it really quick. We can load in. Here's the underwater. Here's the underwater warthog. I don't know if the underwater animation is different for the idol. But we'll wait and see. All right, so it's the same animation, but they just use a different sound effect. They don't use the squeak like they do <laughs> on the one that's not underwater. So there you go. But yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. He just like floats there with his mouth open like this. He doesn't even close it ever. Even when you move. I don't, does he, I don't know. Whatever. But yeah. That is going to do it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Let's see how many likes we can get for the new Zafaria Horde pack. I'm just happy that I got everything that I wanted to show you guys from the pack in like 10,000 crowns. That's probably the lowest crowns that I've spent on a pack in a while. I did get 20 of the Scorpion. And I have 37 of the Dark Sprite. I actually got a lot of those. Even though I don't think the Dark Sprite upgrade path is that good i wouldn't really care too much about going for those but yeah that is uh the two that i found that are dropping from this pack but that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching it leave a like on your way out definitely subscribe so you know when i post more wizard videos in the future i'll see you all next time